have to disperse. They're going to start making arrests. Although this was nearly two months ago, Amir Kadumi remembers it like it was yesterday. For a moment, there, there, was, there was a twinge of fear. He's a member of the Palestinian Solidarity Committee, the group now banned from the University of Texas at Austin's campus for their involvement in April's Palestine protests. They try to trick students into these admissions of guilt with these questions. I mean, it's sort of desperate. Right. Amir says most of the people beside him that day have received disciplinary notices from UT, informing students of the proceedings and consequences they may face for their involvement. Sitlali Soto Ferrate is one of them. All of them have the same pictures, the same evidence. They're just putting everything on everyone and then hoping that one of us admits to it. A group of several students who received the letters sent a memo to UT's administration saying the disciplinary notices set them up for self-incrimination. Now the American Civil Liberties Union is getting involved. When students do join, enroll in a university, they do not leave their constitutional rights um, at the gate. This week, the organization sent its own letter to UT President Jay Hartzell, saying the disciplinary proceedings may violate students' First Amendment rights. Putting students in disciplinary proceedings for exercising their rights is deeply concerning. In disciplinary letters sent by the school, students were asked to write a response to questions like, do you agree your conduct was disruptive? And why did you not disperse? They can choose to provide clarification in writing about their activities in an effort to prove that they didn't break any rules. But by putting this information in writing, it's something that could be used against them later on. But the university says it supports the constitutional rights of students. In a previous statement to CBS Austin, UT says in part, we support free speech of people on our campus, and we will also enforce the rules while providing due process and holding people accountable. For now, the disciplinary proceedings are set to go on, but not without a watchful eye. We wanted to send this letter out to express our concern about these proceedings and note that we will be monitoring them. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.